Welcome back, guys. Um, oddly enough, uh, now, as I mentioned, I have installed the uh, NVIDIA card. And a couple of uh, surprises. Uh, one is, uh, when I, after I install the card, which was very easy, nothing other than putting it into the slot and tightening the screw down to hold it in um, is very, very easy. Um, let's see. This is the card that I installed. Seems to be very nice. Like I say, I, I, I wanted the low profile. You can see it right there. Uh, low profile, two gigs of DDR5. So everything, uh, from a hardware standpoint, everything was pretty easy. But when I rebooted, um, of course, I had to go into the BIOS and uh, Basically, it gives you the option to set either the graphics card in the PCI slot as the first graphics um, option, or you can set your Intel, your, in my case, the onboard graphics. So the first time around, I um, left the onboard graphics enabled but I put the NVIDIA card as first. And when I booted, I have, right now I have two Manjaro distributions, a Debian, this one that you're looking at, Debian distribution, and Windows 10 on this particular computer. And when I rebooted the system after installing, I knew I would have to go in and load up drivers. But as I mentioned before, I thought that Manjaro would be the easier of the two. That turned out not to be the case. Uh, number one, neither of my Manjaro installs will boot and they're on separate drives so I know it's not a drive issue when I when I uh, turn on the computer it shows me uh, the two Manjaro's the Windows and the Debian if I click on Manjaro it just goes to a um, cursor up in the top left of a black screen and the cursor is not even blinking this happens on both Manjaro installs. For, uh, for the uh, Debian, um, what I had to do was leave the onboard graphics enabled. So basically leaving both of them enabled. And then boot up into the onboard graphics and install all the drivers um, and then reboot. With Windows it basically booted up with um, kind of a uh, uh, default driver, graphics driver. The resolution was really low. Then I uh, got prompted by Windows to install the NVIDIA, but I I had the disk, the Windows disk for the uh, graphics card, so I just used that. And Windows is fine. That was the first one that I had operating. Uh, as I said, Manjaro, either, neither of them will boot, so I got into in, uh, in the Debian install that I had just done, and I easily installed the drivers based upon information that I already had. Uh, one of my notes 
uh, on the disk. Uh, I had made some notes on how to install the Debian drivers. Now normally I install the latest, the 352 or the 355 using the experimental repo, but for some reason um, it's kicking it out saying there are unmet dependencies. So I'm not going to fool around with it at this point because basically and this Debian install is the only Linux install that I have working right now. Now it's working terrific. Uh, I have no issues whatsoever and um, it's amazing. So uh, that says something for Debian I guess doesn't it? So uh, I'm not sure what the issue is with the both Manjaro um, but I had everything backed up, so I'm probably just going to reinstall them and see how that goes. So um, I will try to do that and um, get back into this video and close it out with a uh, working Manjaro install with NVIDIA graphics. So. Um, I will be right back with you guys. I'm going to try to do that and then I will be back. So bear with me. Be back shortly. Welcome back guys. <clears throat> well, uh, my plans didn't go as I expected. I uh, try. I did reinstall uh, Manjaro. However, um, for some reason I got the uh, NVIDIA card working fine, uh, no problems at all, but for some reason, and I did redid the install two or three times, um, could not get any um, video to be made. Now, videos played in YouTube, uh, but when I tried making a video, it would not record. I tried Simple Screen Recorder, I tried Voco Screen, I tried Kazam, GUVC View, I tried everything and not one video would play properly. Couldn't even get the, uh, the video to start. It, it was saving the file, but when I double clicked on it, it just did nothing, absolutely nothing. I checked my video. Uh, NVIDIA configuration, everything was fine. Uh, so what I did is I deleted um, two Manjaro installs and I went ahead and I installed Plain Arch. And what you're looking at is just a Plain Arch install with the Mate desktop. I have got it pretty much configured. As you can see up in the top right, I've got all my usual utilities and all my applications are, uh, are doing fine. So uh, everything looks fine and this is, like I say, plain arch. I'm going to just leave it and see if I can do a little research on why Manjaro isn't, uh, for some reason, I, I'm assuming it's because of my NVIDIA card, but Debian plays fine with it. Uh, Arch Linux plays fine with it. And I'm going to do a uh, Linux Mint install on the new Mate uh, version. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna install that and see if that works fine. And I will let you know uh, in my next video. But this is the wrap up of this video, guys. The NVIDIA. Uh, let's see, let me show you the NVIDIA. The NVIDIA is working fine. As a matter of fact, in Arch, I have the latest and greatest 355. So it's got my card, the GeForce GT740. Everything is configured properly, working great. So I'm going to wrap up this video and uh, I will give you an update later but right now I am running on this computer uh, Windows works fine everything is fine um, Debian testing uh, works fine everything is fine and this uh, plain vanilla arch install everything is working fine uh, it's just Manjaro for some reason and I tried 
two different uh, installs. One was the Mate and the other one the XFCE. So I don't know why that's happening, but I'm, I'm going to be doing some research and I'll get to the bottom of it at some point. In the meantime, I've got Arch, I've got Debian, and soon to be Linux Mint Ubuntu. I'll, I'm going to try that out. So, guys, that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.